The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 12, verses 1 to 12. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders in parables. A man planted a vineyard. He fenced it round, dug out a trough for the wine press, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went abroad. When the time came, he sent a servant to the tenants to collect from them his share of the produce from the vineyard. But they seized the man, thrashed him, and sent him away empty-handed. Next he sent another servant to them. Him they beat about the head and treated shamefully. And he sent another, and him they killed. Then a number of others, and they thrashed some and killed the rest. He had still someone left, his beloved son. He sent him to them last of all. They will respect my son, he said. But those tenants said to each other, This is the heir. Come on, let us kill him. And the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. Now, what will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come and make an end of the tenants and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this text of scripture? It was the stone rejected by the builders that became the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing and it is wonderful to see. And they would have liked to arrest him because they realized that the parable was aimed at them, but they were afraid of the crowds. So they left him alone and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, if we need a share in the divine life, in the divinity of God, our faith must bear some goodness. This is what the first reading speaks to us about. Our deeds should outbeat our words and become our virtue until and unless we become good in the eyes of God we can never be a real person in life we tend to think that we are doing a lot of good things in life but we fail to be generous generous in many ways and generous even in our words, our speech. Therefore, the Lord is inviting us to participate in His goodness by taking something that we have deep within to transform, to change, and to take good virtues in faith. 
Jesus speaks to us about our real character that we have deep within us. He gives an example of the humanity, how humanity treated the prophets. The whole universe belongs to God and we are just stewards taking care. But we think that everything is ours. We possess property. We possess material good. We possess lot of things in life. And we think that we need everything worldly in order to become spiritual. Or rather we think we are self-sufficient and we need nothing else when we have financial security. Therefore, when the owner comes back to get what they deserve from the tenants as owners, what did the tenants do? They kill the messengers. They kill the prophets. They kill all those who were sent to collect the produce from them. And finally, God sends his own son as the master did. And the people thought, he is the heir. Come on, let us kill him. And finally, we kill Jesus, the Son of God. This irritates the scribes and Pharisees and the elders because Jesus is talking about the reality. And they think that he is taunting at them. They think that he is abusing because it hurts them, it hits on them. Reality bites, pains. And then they want to put him in difficult situation. So my dear friends, what did the martyrs do in their lives? They accepted persecutions. They accepted all pain and agony. But they did not give up faith. So those who came to take the produce in the name of God as messengers and prophets, they did not act upon themselves. Nor did they back off and say, Oh, I shall not do it. Though some did initially. But many of them were truthful and true to God. My dear brothers and sisters, we are called to be such genuine and good persons in life. To be real in our character, to be real in our words, and above all, to be real in our deeds, so that we can produce in us the goodness that God himself has in his divinity. Amen.